Hello my fellow researchers and welcome to another video in this video series. My name is Jason and in this video I'm going to show you how to convert text data into numeric data. And there may be a number of reasons why you have text data and it could be that you well just entered it in text format or perhaps you uh, uh, downloaded it from an online survey platform and it came in text format or maybe you imported it from Excel and it came in text format. Either way it's probably going to be in the string variable type. Okay, that's that's for text and we want to get it into a numeric variable type and that's because we need numbers to do certain analyses. So the simplest way to do that and there's a couple ways of doing this, but the easiest way is to well go to transform and hit automatic recode. Okay, automatic recode and you can see the little a here beside the variable that means it's in string format i'm just going to throw it in this box right here and i'm going to type in a new name sex auto okay so we're going to create oh that says auto we're going to create a new variable called sex auto add new name and you can see this section right here it says recode starting from lowest value to highest value okay so from lowest value means it's going to start the numbering in alphabetical order Right, so so F comes before M, I think. So F should be one in this case, right? Let me hit OK. F is one, M is two, right? And no, I don't want to save that. That there you go. You can see M has become two and F has become one. And if I go to my variable view, you can see the values cell has been filled out for us. Lovely. But suppose I wanted M's as ones and F's as twos for some particular reason. I'll just go to automatic recode and instead of, oh, let me reset this, I'll throw that back in there. Let's do sex auto auto two. Okay, and I'm gonna choose highest value instead. The first time I chose lowest value. So now it's gonna start the numbering uh, basically in reverse alphabetical order, right? So now um, M comes before F, so M, or M comes after F, so M will be one, okay? Uh, if I hit OK there, M is 1, F is 2. No. Now the, the third way of doing it is manually. And to do it manually, you're going to hit recode into different variables. And here I'm going to throw in my original variable, sex. And I'm going to type in a name for the new variable that we're going to create, sex manual. And I'm going to hit old and new values. And here, let's say uh, I'm going to type in the, the, the string format for the old value, right, M. And it's going to be assigned a value of 1. And I'm going to hit Add. And I'm going to throw in F in here, and I'm going to type 2. And I'm going to hit Add. So now males will become 1s, females will become 2s. Hit Continue. Hit OK. And it tells us the syntax here, exactly what we've done. Males are 1s, females are 2s. And that, now you can see that, okay? So if you do it manually, again, you can assign any number you want to each of the letters, that's fine, or, or each of the string uh, text data. Um, but if you do it automatically, it's a little bit easier, especially if you have lots of different types of, of text data. The only downside to doing it manually is that it does not fill in the values cell here. So uh, you're gonna wanna fill this in. Um, in this case, I, I made one male and two female so um, as long as you don't forget to fill in this column right after uh, you should be fine doing it uh, manually so that's how you convert uh, text data to numeric data or numeric form and again you can click on view and value labels now to see exactly what's hidden behind the the numeric data right so I'll unclick that now you can see the numbers again um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to message me. If not, stay tuned for my next video. Cheers.